While this may look like child's play, this is science. And then just let him go. So what we're looking for is this little cell right there on our wig. Kind of looks like a mitten. There's the thumb and the, the fingers. Mm -hmm. You take your tag, and you just put it right there. Just press it on. She's ready to go. And that's and not going to hurt her flying? No, out. it's light enough. It doesn't mess with her. And then when I let go of her wing, she'll take off. And have you caught any yet? I've caught two. And what do you guys do once you catch them? We're tagging them and sending them to Mexico. These tags play a very important role when tracking monarch migration. The peak migration for monarchs throughout Oskaloosa just happens to be this week. Each year, almost to the exact date, monarch butterflies across the nation begin their migration south from the northern parts of the states and even from Canada. And if somebody finds that, they can go to the website or they can call that number okay. and report that they found that tag. And all the information that we record goes to the University of Kansas. And then they've got it that, okay, this tag number was a female monarch. It was a wild one caught north of Oskaloosa, Iowa on September 15, 2008. Mm -hmm. If somebody, you know, hits this with their truck in St. Louis, you know, we know, hey, we made it that far in a week or so. If it ends up down in Mexico and somebody goes up in the mountains and finds it on the forest floor, then we know, hey, this one made it all the way to Mexico. For CRI News, I'm John Hoffman.